Welcome back to another episode of Explore Mainer ISD on MISD TV. I'm your host, Lydia Gutierrez. As a district of choice, we invite you to explore the possibilities at Mainer ISD. Make sure to head over to our website to discover 18 schools and check out the channel MISD TV. There's a pathway for each scholar, whether it's STEM, liberal arts, general studies, or fine arts. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to explore the possibilities at Mainer ISD and enroll today. Or there, check out the newest addition to Mainer ISD, our K-8 campus, Mainer Rise Academy. Mainer Rise Academy will be a tech-based environment where scholars will use cutting-edge technology to learn in-demand skills such as critical thinking and creative problem solving. Scholars will participate in Project Lead the Way curriculum, which will prepare them for a future in the STEM field. If this sounds like the right fit for your scholar, apply today. Texas Yes and Greater Texas FCU brought Little Locus to Manor ISD. Scholars from Oak Meadows, Presidential Meadows, Blake Manor Elementary, and their surrounding communities were gifted reading material to help fuel their literacy journeys. Scholars can stop by any time to pick out a book from the Little Locker, and they can donate to the collection as well. Manor New Tech High School hosts an NHS collaborated to put together a blood drive for the Manor community to donate to. Here's more from the HOSA and NHS presidents on what it was like to put the event together. So planning this event was very fulfilling for myself. It allowed me to not only experience what it takes to run a whole event, but also what it means to communicate with people outside of school and with outside organizations. We noticed that, you know, our school here, we hadn't had a blood drive since 2017, and we were supposed to have one before the pandemic, I believe, but you know, things got crazy and that got canceled. So we just wanted to do something that everyone could really participate in. So we decided to do a blood drive. Um, we haven't, like again, we haven't had one in a while. 2017, that's like six years. We planned for about two weeks, like how many people we wanted to sign up and we were able to get the blood drive to happen. It's important to have a blood drive or events like this where you can lend a helping hand just because there's a lot of people who love blood everywhere, not only here in Maynard, but in Austin, Blue River, Round Rock, in different places. One person will donate a bag of blood and that bag of blood does um, save three people. So the, that blood goes to like Children's Hospital. I know here we have the Dell Children's Hospital uh, and any other clinics and just helping people, especially with cancer too, that need help and that need uh, blood. And this is just an event that everybody can participate in and hopefully it's just not something that happens once, but people take on from it, other leaders at my school, and this is something that can happen. Now for an athletics update. Maynard New Tech High School men's soccer finished an amazing season, completed with a trip to the area championship. To celebrate, the community gathered at Maynard New Tech High to give a send off to the scholar athletes. Congratulations on all your incredible year. Also at New Tech High, congratulations to the tennis team for earning district runner up. We are so proud of you and your amazing accomplishments. Maynard Middle School coach Ebony Gordley was nominated for coach of the month. Thank you, Coach Gordley, for all you do for our athletes. On Thursday, the Maynard community experienced the excitement of Maynard ISD's 13th Annual LEGO Robotics Expo. Attendees had the pleasure of witnessing the impressive display of programming skills shown by scholars in real time. Here's an inside look into the event. annual LEGO Robotics Expo was underway here at Maynard New Tech High School. Scholars showed off their expertise by navigating through challenges using their robotics and coding skills. It was good and it was also a little bit challenging because like for, for it to follow the light and all that other stuff but it was also very fun. My favorite part is probably how how does my like first competition of like robotics and I like representing all schools so I wanted to like win. Make sure you start from the same spot every time. I really like building the robots. It was one of the one of my favorite parts. It was really fun too. My favorite part about today is that we could work in a team, which builds our teamwork skills, and also that it was fun not knowing the other challenges. It's important to provide these opportunities for all of our scholars, especially at the elementary level, because if they have any interest in pursuing careers or a pathway that involves STEM, this is an amazing opportunity to get them started and to build on their passion. This is one of the highlights of the school year for a lot of these students and of course myself and the coaches. They put a lot of time 
throughout the year practicing and learning how to code and learning how to use the robots. And then they put together these stories and we all come together in this one place and everybody discovers everyone else's story and solving their challenges. It's just an amazing event. I'm happy we get to keep doing it. Minor SD's very own sixth grade math and science teacher, Nicole Davis, was presented the Outstanding Educator Award from the Texas Academy of Science at their annual meeting. Not only did she take home the big award, but she was also the keynote speaker. Thank you so much for all that you do for Pioneer Crossing Elementary and for Mainer ISD. We would like to say congratulations to the March Star Principal of the Month, Presidential Medals Principal Guyton. Thank you for exemplifying outstanding leadership. Thank you so much for tuning in to Explore Mainer ISD here on MISC TV. I'm Lydia Gutierrez. We'll see you next time.